Hi everyone, my name is Majira and I'm here with another story. So I just wanted to apologize because I recently lost my hard drive. All my hard drive was all of my background music, all of my sound effects, my outro for my videos and it's really just like made me very demotivated to make videos because I don't have my outro, I don't have my music and I had to go re-find it, re-download it. It's like years of finding and downloading music and sound effects all erased. It's been really demotivating and I just haven't really been like up to filming and making videos because I know that I'll have to go find all the music, you know, you get it. So I apologize that I haven't been really like making a lot of videos recently. I also moved and I'm in a new location now and it's just there's so much going on, it's so crazy. I really wanna like start making videos again. I'm gonna have to go and re-download all the old music. I'm gonna have to re-download my outro and re-edit it to like do its thing. And I just, I'm probably not gonna do that this video. So at the end of this video, it's probably just gonna be like a black screen, but we'll get there. Gotta build it back up, start it from scratch. I'm sure as soon as I re-download all of the music, I will find my hard drive. That's just how life works, I guess. Anyway, I just wanted to apologize for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell a story. So this story is gonna kind of fit the mood. Like I said, I've been like really demotivated and really like just not really feeling it. So I thought I could tell like a kind of a kind of a different kind of story. Cause usually I tell like really happy fun stories, but I'm gonna tell kind of a not so fun story. Cause I think you guys might like it. Also, one more thing to apologize for. I just moved so I don't have my filming wall anymore. I also don't have a tripod. So this is like sitting on a box and it's just such a mess. I just need to get things together. It might take me a while, but I won't have my filming wall until after Anthrocon. So also, I'm speaking of Anthrocon, I'm having a panel. So here's the information for that. So you should go to my panel. What a great segue. I didn't even mean to do that. Completely forgot to mention that. But okay, anyway, story. So this is a story about my worst furry convention experience. I thought it'd be kind of fun to share this because, you know, maybe you could learn from my mistake or you could just laugh at me being an idiot because this is all kind of like my doing, I guess. It was at MFF my first year, so that was 2015. So it's my first MFF 2015. I was really excited because the only furry con I have really gone to is Anthrocon at this point. It was me and Echo and we were just gonna drive there after school one day because we were still taking classes, you know. We had a hotel room at the A-Law from Friday night to Sunday morning. The reason we booked that is because we didn't know if we were gonna have Friday classes or not because you had to book furry cons so in advance that like sometimes, you know, it's just such a mess sometimes. But we ended up being able to go on Thursday because we didn't have Friday classes. Our friends Ruki and Electronic Bird, shout out to you guys. They allowed us to stay in their room for Thursday night, which is like super sweet of them. Like so nice, we were so grateful. So we were like, cool, we can go Thursday. So we went on Thursday and we got there. I didn't really know how to like carry a fursuit around yet. I was, I was only like, I was 19, you know, I was still new to suiting a little bit. I had this big like tub full of all my suit stuff and like water bottles in it and it was so heavy, oh my god. Since then I've learned like, I just, I never, I don't put my suit in, in tubs, I don't do that anymore, like I can't do it. And this experience is the reason why. So anyway, we had our big bins and we parked at the A-Loft parking garage which is like also shared with like a bunch of other neighboring hotels and we went into the a-loft and we got like our parking validated or whatever then we brought our fursuit stuff out of our car from the a-loft hotel and carried it all the way to the convention center because we didn't want to like leave it in the car and it get stolen or something and like we wanted to fursuit that night so we like took it all the way to the con center and then we brought it all the way up to their hotel room which was in the main hotel and we get there and we find out that a bunch of other people are also staying in this room. So it was a king room and there's like, I think like eight or nine people just sleeping on the floor. And we were like, oh, that's a lot of people. Echo is kind of like, I don't really want to stay in a room with this many people. I was kind of like, I don't want to stay in a room with this many people. We went outside of the room. We kind of sat in the hallway. We were trying to figure out like, okay, maybe we can extend our hotel another day. First we called the main hotel of MFF and we are like, hey, do you have extra rooms? Because if we could just like get a room there, we wouldn't have to carry all of our first two stuff all the way back to the A-Loft, which was a few blocks away. So they told us no and we are like, damn it. Like we were hoping someone would have like canceled it last second. We could have snatched their room up and then had that main hotel slot. You you know what I'm saying? So then we called the A-Loft. We were gonna see if we can extend our room there because we actually had a room there. And we find out that you have to be 21 to stay at the A-Loft. Like you can stay there as a minor or like an under 21 person, but you have to be 21 to book the room. 
and I was 19 and I didn't know that. It wasn't on the website. I, I probably was on the website, I just didn't look. Okay, so I just now looked on the website, like literally two years later, and it clearly states at least one occupant of each room must be at least 21 years or older. So, way to go, past Majira. <sighs> God. So I was like, oh, great. So we can't stay here. We don't have a hotel room. So we had to cancel our ALOF room. And we were like, shoot, we don't have a room. What are we gonna do? If you haven't been to MFF, I'll like explain this to you really briefly. There's like a sky bridge that connects from the main hotel to another hotel, to another hotel, to another hotel. The ALOF is like at the very end of the sky bridge. How do I explain this? So like, there's a sky bridge that goes to the first hotel, which is the Hilton, I think and then it goes to the double tree, and then the sky bridge ends, but you're in like a parking garage that is linked to the ALOF. That's really complicated, I know. Like, look at it on a map or something. So we were like, okay, let's try to call a different hotel and see if we can just get one that's nearby. If worse comes to worse, you can't find a hotel, you can sleep in their bathtub, and then I'll sleep on their toilet. We texted our friend Booker, and I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my god, they don't have a hotel room. Like, what hotel are you staying in? Because I can just book one there, because like, if he's staying at the hotel, I can obviously stay there too. And he texts back, he, I don't remember what the hotel was called, but he texted back like the name of the hotel so then i like went on google and looked up that name of the hotel and i called the number that came up and i booked the hotel so uh we booked that room it was all good so we start walking this is completely my fault by the way in my mind i had thought booker was staying at one of the hotels that was linked to the sky bridge but he wasn't and i didn't know that i didn't confirm that when i asked him so we walked through the sky bridge all the way to the end looking for this hotel and we ended up all the way at the end and there was no hotel with that name. So then I was like, we booked the wrong hotel. I think I called Booker and I was like, where's your hotel? And he was like, oh, it's the other, it's a couple blocks that way. And I was like, oh my God. Keep in mind, when we were walking, we had all of our tubs full of stuff and we, it's heavy. It is so heavy. It's so, it's so bulky. It's so annoying to just carry a big tub with your fursuit in it and like bottles of water and all your supplies in it. If you want to travel with a fursuit, like just put it in like a suitcase. Gosh, it's so hard in a tub. I don't know how people do it. We were at the point where we were pushing it on the ground because it was so heavy and our arms hurt so bad. <laughs> Maybe I'm just really weak. Maybe I just need to work out. God, these are just such first world problems, I know. We get to the end of the sky bridge. We find out that we booked the wrong hotel and I call Booker and I like say like, what the heck? And we find out that we didn't only book the wrong hotel that's not linked to the sky bridge. We booked a hotel in a different city. We didn't even book Booker's hotel. Why? Looking back at it, I am just so stupid. <laughs> we called the other hotel in a different city. Like, I don't, it was, the, I think it was like a different like area of Chicago or something. We called them back and we're like, hey, like we messed up. Like we had to cancel our room. Since we called them like within like 45 minutes or something, they were okay with it. I was just like, great, we don't have a hotel room. We just sit down, it's like midnight, by the way. We started this journey at like 8 p.m. and it's midnight and we still don't know what to do. We still just like have our stuff. We still just are like in pain, we're tired, we just want to go to bed. I go like call their boyfriend or something. I called my mom and I was like, I don't know what to do, mom. I'm like in a city I'm not familiar with. I don't know where I am. Then I was like, okay, like we need to end this. So we just go to one of the hotels that's in the Sky Bridge and it was the Double Tree, which was like the second hotel on the Sky Bridge that shows up. We just walked in and we were like, hey, we need a hotel room from Thursday to Sunday. Can we do that? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. And they also gave us cookies. If you need a hotel room for the MFF that's not in the main hotel, dude, Doubletree, they got free cookies. So like, recommended. So we get to our room in the Doubletree and we have all our stuff. The key cards don't work and Echo lost her phone. Ah. Echo starts really freaking out. She's like, I just want to go to bed. I don't know where my phone is. So then I was like, you stay here with the stuff. I'm not bringing it back downstairs. And I'll take the key cards. I'll tell them they didn't work and I'll look for your phone. So I went downstairs and I was like, hey, the key cards don't work. And lucky enough, Echo's phone was sitting right there on the front desk. So I grabbed it. Thank God. If it was somewhere else, oh my God, that would have just been a nightmare. So I got our phone and the key cards got like rescanned so they'd work. And I went back upstairs to our room and I let Echo in and she went like straight to the bed and crashed. She was so tired. I was just like, thank God, because we had our friend Aiko was gonna room with us, but he was coming on Friday. So if we didn't have a room, not only would we be screwed, but we would have screwed someone else. And I would have felt so bad about that. So I was just really thankful that we finally got a room. So by this point, it's like almost like one in the morning. It's so late. And I was like, 
I don't have, where's my car? <laughs> I need to move my car. I was like freaking out because I was like, I don't know how to get back to the A loft. I don't know where I am. I like text my friend Bolt and I'm like, hey, can I just, can I just call you? Like, I just need to talk to someone. So I called Bolt and I was like literally almost in tears. I was like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I ruined everything. This whole con like is ruined. Like it's the worst con ever. Like I hate MFS. And then Bolt was like, oh my God, like it's fine. Like calm down, you can find your car. Like just go on Google Maps and like look at the hotel. Thank you, Bolt, for being there for me. You're a good friend. I like Google Maps where the hotel is. I find my car. I have to pay for the parking. So I take the parking ticket to the A loft, which I thought was going to become a problem because I don't have a hotel room there anymore. But luckily, the like ticket for the parking got like corrupted, so I got free parking. Something went right. I'm sorry, my, I just realized like my voice has like dropped progressively like during this video. When I am unscripted, like I just don't do the Majira voice. Like I, ha I don't know what's going on. Let me try and do the Majira voice again. So anyway, I get my car and I leave and then I go and park at the Double Tree, which was like kind of stupid because the parking garages were linked. And I didn't know that, but I know that now, but like I didn't know that at the time So I could have just like gotten free parking for the whole weekend didn't realize it whatever the good news is like I parked right there next to the hotel I went to my hotel room I just went to bed and I woke up on Friday ready to enjoy the con and the con ended up being really fun Even though this crazy stuff happened and it was just such a mess. It was still fun And I just pretend that MFF 2015 Thursday didn't happen that did no that I only went Friday to Sunday That's basically my story of like the worst convention experience I ever had and it was all my doing my fault I'm not gonna like play the victim. I was just an idiot. I hope you guys enjoyed the story I am sorry like I'm like not really doing anything crazy, just telling stories. But hopefully you guys liked it anyway. Uh, hopefully I didn't leave out any details, I probably did. But it's okay! And this video was unscripted, so if it's kinda all over the place, if I say and or like a lot, I'm sorry. If I say I'm sorry a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you guys want more stories like this, let me know. I have a lot of like crazy furry stories. If you guys want me to do that, leave a comment down below telling me to do that. If this video gets a trillion likes, I'll delete my channel. <laughs> By the way, MFF like is a great con. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, it's just going to be a black screen at the end, because I don't have my hard drive or my outro, so... Enjoy this black screen. Are you enjoying it? I know, it's really interesting. Look, it's just... it's black. This, that's it. There's nothing there.